previously on Sonic Adventure 2. Let's take a look at what my grandmother was working on. Maria. Is that you? My name is Shadow. Oh, he is too strong! Bring more Chaos Emeralds. I'll be waiting for you on the Space Colony Ark. And the Ark is over. gone! He's taken out everyone aboard and what's wrong? What is the Come world? Here. Over! Now we're getting introduced to our favorite character. Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking That's about? That's me and the Grandmaster Galaxy. You got that? Got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. How do you neutralize energy? What the? How do you neutralize energy? I guess you can counteract ray waves, but the signal from the emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the master. You can store energy in not in waves. So Eggman Not if I can help it. Eggman was just like what in the middle of that? What was that all about? Look what you did to my emerald! Oh, I broke it! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Yes, it's not. Into it one second. By the way, you may notice that the sound editing is so weird. As in, the music is a little bit too loud and that people talk over each other. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. So anyway, so this is Dry Lagoon, the second stage of the Dark Storyline, and this is Rouge's first stage. Um, Rouge basically flies around and digs walls. So what we want to do is that we want to firstly try and get rid of these guys. You'll see at the bottom that we've got little radar for our emerald shards. We want to look, we want to make sure that they flash red. Unfortunately, unlike in Sonic Adventure 1, these, this doesn't flash blue, so the range is so much smaller than the first game. And the worst part is that you can't actually see the other two, the other two emeralds right away. Uh, so right now, in fact, basically, while you're playing as Rouge or Knuckles, you're guessing half the time. And in fact, these levels get ridiculously large. In the original game, they actually didn't get that large. Um. I think ma the main reason why they made the levels a lot larger is because there are there weren't there are no adventure fields, and I do prefer that. As much as people do like the adventure fields because there's actually stuff going on, I, I I'm not a big fan of the adventure fields. They take me out of the game. It's like it takes too long and no one plays them back because it's just like that. Oh, of course. That was actually pretty quick. Sometimes you'll be able to do these really quickly, and sometimes you won't. And that's the problem with these stages. Um. Anyway, I guess we'll just jump over to Knuckles because Knuckles also plays a stage at this exact time. How was that? Perfect, like me. It actually was. So yeah, let's jump over to Knuckles. And now we started stage two, Wild Canyon. Uh, I just looked it up, by the way. Emeralds have a hardness of about seven and a half to eight on the uh, on the more scale of hardness, considering diamond is ten. And seven and a half to eight is really tough. Now, considering Knuckles has the ability to shatter it, I I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't think. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, as you can tell, Knuckles has some really, really weird songs. Okay, so it's not over there. I'm assuming it, there it is. Oh, crap. So anyway, so Knuckles stages, uh, just like Rouge's stages, where basically you will play as... You will try and get all the emeralds. In fact, they're exactly the same stage. I, I do prefer... Oh, crap. I do prefer Knuckles' level, because Knuckles' level... It's a little bit simpler. What? I was 
nowhere near the thing. It was near it, but... Where's the... Where's the... There it is. Alright. By the way, yeah, this music's really weird, isn't it? You don't know... You know how it is. Okay, I'm assuming I... Quick! Climb, you fool! Punch it! Move it! Push it! How do... How does one miss... How does one push it? Like that, I guess. There it is. Okay, so there's another one. Now there's one more. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be up. Yes, the rapper is calling Rouge sexy. Yes, you are hearing that correctly. The rapper is finding Rouge to be sexy. Yeah, we've hit the dead. We've hit the low end of the straw, haven't we? The low end? Get, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. I found him. I found him. So yeah, so Knuckles stage is not that bad. I actually honestly think Knuckles stage is... No, I take that back. I was gonna say stages aren't as bad as Rouge's. Yeah, I feel good. I think they're equally as hard. I'll say that. Desert area. And this is stage number three of the dark storyline, Stand Ocean, which is played by Eggman again. Well, when you put the camera above the stage and there's no textures on the top. By the way, no one likes this stage at all. It's really awkward on your first playthrough because there are so many abilities that could be handy for this. And in fact, when you play the light storyline, the hero storyline, sorry, You'll have all these abilities when you play the desert stage. The worst part about uh, Tails' desert stage. Basically, each storyline, every character plays an equivalent stage. So Rouge plays a stage, Knuckles will play a stage just like that. For example, there will be a Tails stage where it's like a building. Um, and yeah, there will be... We already found the Knuckles mission. So yeah, so there will be another Tails mission which is just like this. Um, also, by the way, when you melee something, you have like a boxing glove. Yes, I'm not kidding. Anyway, always shoot for the dynamite, and in fact, if you're going for points, the best way to get points is to try and rack up combos. You'll find this out in like stage 6, or Eggman's next stage. Uh, by the way, you may be wondering, so what's the point of rings in this? Well, you get a health bar at the bottom of Eggman's and Tail stages. They are replenished by rings, but they're not entirely fulfilled by rings. So, one ring does not replenish one hit. It's more so about 20 rings replenish a hit, and it depends on the hit actually sometimes. Um, so yeah. Yeah, by the way, the sand will kill you. Level 3 and already we've got uh, insta-death. Um, one thing I do like about this game is that the camera is usually in the correct position. Maybe not for knuckle stages, but for tails and and Sonic and Eggman and Shadow stages, definitely, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, so... Sonic Adventure 2, I believe, is a really fun game to play. I, um... I also don't know what's with that little enemy, the one that just appears and goes away. I feel like it definitely has a lot more secrets, because a lot of the levels are designed around having items that you will come back after you've got other items from other stages. Because in later stages, we'll be picking up abilities for our characters. Um, and yeah. Anyway, I think one reason why I prefer this game is that not only does it have the polish that the original was lacking, I believe, but it also has, like, um, I think it has a better story. And I also believe the stages are a lot more focused. Granted, granted, they're a little bit more annoying. But, like, I do, I do, I didn't like Amy in Sonic Adventure 1, I didn't like, uh, I didn't like, um, uh, Tails' stages too much. They were enjoyable, but I definitely knew that little effort was put into them, really. Um, 
not saying they're bad, I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, it's the same stage, but I get to fly. Um, that's why I like these tank things. Hit, hit it! Hit it, you fool! Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, um, and I, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of, um, of, uh, across the stages. I think that, that was alright, that was alright, and big stages, of course. As much as we all did like big stages, that was a bit of a risky jump. Um, as much as we did like big stages, they were a little bit, you know, what's the point? Because they played no part in the story. So, yeah, so, um, I should probably t talk about the levels. Iron Gate it was a pretty fun level, I would say. It's definitely action-packed getting you into the, into the mood. Dude, like a breakout, that's great. Um, but yeah, like, um, I, I, I thought it was alright. Um, this level, I'm not a big fan of. I'm actually not a big fan of any desert level in, like, any game. Some people don't like water levels. I don't like desert levels. So Serious Sam was a bit of a eh to me. Yosh. <laughs> That's a good example of a game where it's like eh. And this level is a bit eh. And it's kind of tricky for the third stage. Hmm, that wasn't so difficult. That wasn't so difficult. <laughs> and we got another medal. Hooray. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. Of course. So, he steps in the teleporter. I think that's a teleporter. Right there, it's just a phone. Also, this is an ancient pyramid. And this we exists. We interrupt this broadcast for an important this news broadcast. Flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. Yeah, he says a line too early. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. Yep. Common theme of this game, everyone mistakes Sonic. How Sorry, everyone mistakes Shadow for Sonic. He's coming back. Find them before they escape. Maria! What? Yeah, you're gonna be confused right now. Shadow, I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you revenge. Because clearly, revenge is the best option. So anyway, so stage four, Radical Highway. And Jesus is stage awesome, mainly because it was in Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Yep. This is the defin- oh, also, oh, sorry, I was trying to spin dash then. I failed. This is the definitive level. Everyone likes this level. And I'll say, I, I like it too. It's, it's very focused. It's definitely like it just does a couple of things and it does it so well. And it's speedy as heck. And there's bombs and explosions and everything. It's like... Also oh, that... That was the most perilous jump I've ever done and I wish I would not have to do that ever again. Go! Alright, so anyway, yeah, so, Radical Highway is a fan favorite, and a lot of people do like this level, and I, I like it quite a bit, also because it's the first Shadow level, I mean, to be honest, I like pretty much all of the Sonic Shadow levels, all of them, they're all really good, oh crap, Pfft. 
If you hit the jump button right there, and then you keep going, you can you, you can kind of shortcut your way up there, which is nice. Also, you saw those iron boxes. That's a later power. Ah, uh, three rings. Go. I don't care. I want to go on the top path once. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry, game. We're not on the right page. There you go. I never go on the top path, and the bottom path is weird. It looks like the bridge is out, but actually... It's like... It's just like air. Come on. There you go. The first one's just the electric one. Because that's... Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, if you come at the top, then you can be all like... Whoa, crap! Oh, I almost... Oh, I, was, I wanted to slide across it. Now I gotta do this. Ah! I'm okay. I'm alright. Apparently the road is close ahead. Yeah, you can tell it's so much faster on that, that way. Don't get jammed on them walls. Anyway, these ramps are weird. In fact, you may have noticed it from a uh, city escape. But yeah. Them ramps are weird. Anyway. Here we are. Up the top. It's not a Sonic game without knights. Apparently, yeah. Quick! I know the Dreamcast is pretty much dead, but quick! Ah, we must release Knights. We gotta sell it somehow, apparently. I've actually played Knights. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. I don't, I don't see why people don't like it. So, yeah. Up. Whoa! Mr. Z targeting there. Here we go. And anyway, so that was Radical Highway. A pretty fun stage. Than Sonic Generations. Although technically speed highway from Sonic Adventure 1. Because hmm, cities everyone likes City Escape. Everybody. So anyway. By the way, this happens. This, game of tag is boring. I'm out here. this happens hmm. right after. Well, we decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it Chronologically, on. this actually happens after uh, Knuckles level. I'll tell you that. But, hey, considering you play this before you play as Knuckles, then yeah. Oh, I missed. Other than that, though, if you played as Shadow, then you would know exactly how this fight goes out, and it's basically, it is exactly the same thing, except the boxes are uh, arranged differently. I did it! <laughs> I love how you can just do it like that. Take care. What? Of course. He beat it. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the... Chaos Emerald! Of course it is. What did you think it was? Diamond? Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So why is it the military after a hedgehog? Only you get like animal control. Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! Here's a perfect example of Sonic talking over himself. I just say this next line he he literally speaks on top of his line. Wow, he's fast. Hey, it's not his speed. He must be using the chaos yeah. world to warp the shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is oh, it? Oh, 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 keep your hands up. Not again. I'm gonna end this part off here. I'll see you kids next time.